Hello everybody, Niklas Seidloff here. I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix and in this video I'm going to describe how to control Anki overdrive cars from the cloud and I'm going to show a simple collision prevention demo. I've open sourced everything that I will show today so that you can try the demo yourself if you own an Anki overdrive starter kit which comes with several tracks and two cars. The project contains two main components. The first one is a Node.js controller application that you can run on Macbooks to communicate with the cars via a command line interface. The second component is support for MQTT on top of the controller to connect the cars to the cloud, in this case to IBM Bluemix. But rather than talking too much about the how, let me demo what you can do with this project. Okay, so in the first demo I will now show how to use the controllers running on my MacBook to connect to the cars and to steer them. In the upper right corner you can see my simple track with the two cars. The red one is called Skull, the blue one is called Ground Shock. I can now launch the first controller here which connects to my blue car and I can invoke commands like ping. I get a response back. I can enter help to get a list of all available commands. I can set the speed to medium and I can also make it go faster, S1000 and change the speed back to medium. Um, the same works for the second car, so I can connect to the red one here using another configuration file and um, I can drive it as well. I can also change the lights and what else? And I can also change the uh, lanes. So the red one is now driving in the middle lane. And then I can stop them and disconnect them. And the same here. In the second demo I will now show how to remote control the cars from the cloud. I'm using Bluemix, IBM's cloud application platform, which includes the IBM Internet of Things Foundation service. What you see here is a web application called Node-RAD that allows building flows and makes consuming of MQTT messages and sending MQTT commands very easy. Of course you could also use MQTT to communicate to the cars from other applications. Think of the Node-RAD flow as a simple demo app only. In the Node-RAD flow editor there are two columns. In the first column here there are all commands that are sent to Skull and in the right column all commands that are sent to Ground Shock. So here I can now invoke commands again. Let's start simple with a ping command that worked and here's the response. This is the column where all other commands and messages from the cars show up as well. And now I can start the cars, set the speed to medium for both of them. And now what I want to do is I want to turn left with the red car. And let's do this. As you can see that worked. And now I implemented a very simple form of collision prevention. So when I come too close to the blue car, so this time it still worked, but when I hit turn left one more time and I come too close to the blue car, you can see that that didn't work anymore, but instead the red car actually turned right to prevent a collision. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for um, today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.